Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Mindset. Sorry we're a little bit late. Jared was screwing around behind the camera there. But uh, we're ready now. And where are you on planet Earth? Check in. Yes, we want to know. Are you in New Zealand? Are you in Australia? South Africa? Berlin? Antarctica? Where are you? Let us know. Activate the asshole filter. Okay, I will. There we go. Asshole filter has been activated. And... Uh, Today we're going to talk about handgun sights. I know, everyone's favorite topic, or not, depending. Got my coffee here, in my cultural sensitivity and awareness training cup. Mm. How many people are behind the, uh, the Facebook camera there? Uh, we've only got 37 right now. 37, 38, 39. Share it, swipe it, share it, all that. Periscope people, you want to keep getting a Periscope cam? Share it, swipe it, do whatever. Okay, because I still really don't trust Periscope and I'm not completely sold on it. You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. Welcome to Morning Mindset and welcome to Student of the Gun University. I am your host, Professor Paul Markle, and thank you for joining us this morning. And today we're gonna talk about handgun sites or sites in general, but specifically handguns and the fact that good sites are not cheating. Let me say that one more time very slowly because apparently not everyone in the gun culture gets that. Good sites are not cheating. I hear this all the time. I hear people say when, when we recommend luminescent sites or big dot sites or red dot sites or something like that and the uh, the traditionalists or what have you will jump in there like, well, if you'd, you'd practice and learn to use your iron sights, you wouldn't need that stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and address that. A number one, and I'm going to pick up this red G-Lock trainer here. What is the purpose of the exercise of firing a handgun? What is the purpose of the exercise? Well... What do you mean, Paul? That's kind of a stupid question. So hit your target. Yeah, the purpose of the exercise is to launch projectiles from this and make them impact into the target where we want them to go all the time. Not just accidentally or occasionally, but to all the time put our projectiles where we want them to go very deliberately. So that is the main focus of the exercise, right? Well, yeah, obviously it is. But some people treat the handgun like the main focus of the exercise is to learn how to use iron sights. Well, no, no, that's not it at all. Actually, that's the way people behave. Because what we know today is we've made advancements. When they first came out with firearms 500 years ago, they didn't have any sights on them. And then someone figured, well, we'll just take a hammer and we'll forge just kind of a little bumpy thing on the front of the barrel over the muzzle. And then that's what they had for a long time. And then they started getting fancy and they put gold beads and so on and so forth. And you get to the point where we are today with things like the excess big dot sight. Now the big dot sight has tritium in the middle of it, but it also has a big white dot. I've got an example of three dot sights here. Now I took a marker and I blackened them out because Three white dot sights are retarded, uh, and I don't know why manufacturers keep making them. Well, actually, I do because manufacturers aren't shooters, and they think that's what you need, but you don't. But my point is this. These are very rudimentary sights. They put a little white dot up front, a couple white dots in the back, basic sights. Now, when you're talking about basic black, you got your basic black sights right here. What do you need to shoot your, an your handgun accurately and consistently? What do you have to have? Well, you have to have a lot of things, but one thing you have to have is vision or good vision or the ability to place the front sight onto, onto the uh, target there, press the trigger, rinse, lather, repeat, right? Or lather, rinse, repeat. So what if we can make that easier? What if we can make it easier for the human eye to find the front sight and do that? Would that be a good thing? Yes, it would be a good thing. It's not cheating. It's taking advantage of the currently available technology. Right here, what do we have? 
I've got this, uh, shouldn't do that backwards. I've got the Lone Wolf Slide and it's got an RMR sight, which is an electronic red dot sight. And these get, for some reason, there are a few people in the gun culture that just get super bunged up about having a red dot on a pistol. And they're like, ah, da, 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 da. learn how to use your iron sights. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, no one's saying not to. No one is saying, never learn how to use iron sights. But the fact of the matter is this. It's not always going to be a bright, sunny Sunday afternoon on the range when you need to use your pistol. If I need to use this because a bad person is trying to make me dead, it may be dark. The shadows may be heavy. We may be out where I've got really bright headlights and then really deep shadows. It's not an ideal situation. The bad guy's moving, you're moving, I'm moving. It is a 100% less than ideal situation. Wouldn't it be a good thing to have a sight system that would allow me to find the front sight quick, fast, in a hurry while I'm moving when the light is poor, crappy, deep shadows? Wouldn't that be a good thing? Well, yeah, of course it would be a good thing. All right, then let's just do that. Stop arguing about iron sights over you know, tritium sites over white dot sites and what have you. And I'll, I'll give you a, a quick hint. Why is there a white dot site? Why is it white? You guys know, right? Sh you should know if your followers are student of the gun. Why is the dot white, not orange, not red, not green, not yellow? Why is it white? Color vision. As the human body, as a human eye, and I know some of you out there watching me are already colorblind, sorry, but for the rest of you that can see color, as you lose visible light, what happens to your vision? Everything goes from color to shades of gray. Have you ever noticed that? Well, it's true. If we turned all the lights out in here, the sun goes down, what happens? What happens to your color vision? It goes away. You start to lose the color spectrum slowly, 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 slowly. The first color spectrum you lose is the red color spectrum. And the last one you lose is that yellow green spectrum. That's why all the guys on the side of the highway are wearing the neon green or the safety green or the yellow green vests because that's the last color spectrum you lose when you lose the visible light. Did you know that? Okay. But once you've lost the light, everything goes to black, white, and shades of gray in the middle. So when you start out with a bright white dot, what do you have? Well, even if it's completely black, and you're seeing in black and white, this is always gonna be white. A red sight, an orange sight, a green sight, even a yellow sight will eventually, in bad light, just become various shades of gray. White will always be white, all right? As far as red dots are concerned, what Lone Wolf did here, you've got a red dot sight. The RMR, these are rhinoceros tough sights. I'm not going to do it right now because we're filming, but I could take this and I could throw this pistol across the room, pick it up, and I guarantee you that the sight will be fine and it'll probably still be zero, no problem. Now, what did they do? They put backup sights on here in case God hates you and you pull the gun out and the red dot's not there for some reason. But the fact of the matter is having good sights on your handgun is not cheating. And for all of you traditionalists, curmudgeon, whatever people out there, when people want to improve their product or they want to improve upon you know, the, their fighting handgun, stop saying stupid stuff like, well, before I spend money on, on those new sights, you might want to learn how to use your iron sights. The point of the exercise is to put your bullets where they need to be all the time, even in bad light, even when you're moving and the bad guy's moving and you're laying on your belly or on your back or you're hiding around furniture or something all the time, not just on Sunday afternoon at the range when it's nice and bright and sunny, sunny and uh, you know the, the sun is shining. The point is to put rounds on target. And if you can put new sights, upgraded sights on your pistol and they help you do that all the time, do it. All right, is that enough, Jared? Yeah, that's enough. Jared says that's enough. All right, so uh, since Jared says it's enough, we're gonna go ahead and close this, but stop. Before you go, I love you. No, but seriously, go to studentofthegun.com. There's a big orange button that says seven training tips that could save your life. It's free. It costs you nothing. 
sign up. You can listen to the radio show five times a week. You can watch television on Roku, Apple, and Amazon Fire TV. You can read the articles, read the books, all that stuff. Start at studentofthegun.com. There you go. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we have some questions. Mm -mm. Uh, the only one that I can see right now, the other ones went away because they scrolled down. But uh, Quentin, uh, Quentin Henry. You know, you remember Quentin? That was the dude that I fought in Baton Rouge. Oh, hey, what's up, hippie? He asked, uh, so why not use a laser? I didn't say not to use a laser. Go ahead. Uh, I just, you know why I didn't. I think that a lot. You of know why I didn't bring up laser? Because I don't have a gun on the table that has a laser on it. I don't have one within reach. Yeah, I don't have one within reach either. But I, I think that a lot of people on the other side of the camera are thinking that you, maybe uh, you left out lasers on purpose. So that's, no, I didn't lose. Good to clarify. No, and the thing is, laser is a. I could do a whole entire video on lasers. I could uh, write a whole article about it. Josh, in fact, Bl I have. Josh Blanchard says tritium on both front and rear, or just front. Front. What do you recommend uh, sight-wise for old eyes? What is that? The excess big dot. Uh, th these cameras can't pick it up. They're not really good enough. Really? That close? Yeah. They can pick it up, but I mean... It's that not... close? I know it's screwing with the... With, the, uh, with this camera. With the periscope right camera. Yeah. All right. When we're done here on Facebook, when I hit the finish button... Just click the live notifications button and uh, you'll be notified when we go live every time.